Let's graph the linear equation for y equals x minus 1. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll put values in for x, find the corresponding value for y, and then we'll just graph that to get the graph for y equals x minus 1. Then we can check our work with the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So I like to start by putting a 0 in for x because I'm pretty sure that'll fit on my graph. If x is 0, 0 plus negative 1, that's just negative 1. How about x is 1? 1 and negative 1, that gives us 0. And let's use negative 1 here. Negative 1 and negative 1, that's negative 2. So these are the points that we'll graph for this equation. So we have x is 0 and then y is negative 1. So we'll put a point here. We have x is 1, but y is 0. And finally, we have this negative 1 for x and negative 2 for y. So you can see they all line up. And if we use two points, it would work. But with three, you can make sure you didn't make any mistakes. Let's put a line through this. And then we can put arrows on either side here to show it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals x minus 1. Let's use the slope-intercept formula to check our work. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. That's where the line's going to go through the y-axis. And that's negative 1. So we go down the y-axis, and right there is negative 1. That's where the line goes through the y-axis. For m, that's the slope. We think of it this way. We have 1x. We don't usually write the 1, but it's there. And we could write it as 1 over 1 as a fraction. It's still 1. But now we can say rise over run. So we can go up 1 and over 1, rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept, up 1, over 1. And we can keep doing that, up 1, over 1, rise, over, run. And we can see that all of these points are on the graph. Likewise, we could go down 1 and 1 in the opposite direction. We could do that, and these lines, they fall on our graph as well. So we know that we did the first part correctly, and that this is the graph for the equation y equals x minus 1. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.